Welcome back to Learn to Unlearn. This is Luca Mino, episode number 35. This is great. It's going fast. I think it's episode five, 30, 30, 35. I got to go check. Hello and welcome again to Learn to Unlearn. This is Luca Mino, episode 35 today of Learn to Unlearn, a return to healing uh, from two cancers. And this, I just want to say this very quickly in the beginning of every show. Uh, this series was built on uh, trying to give people resources, trying to make people understand where our sicknesses come from, our dis-ease comes from. And it's chronicling my healing every week. So as soon as I get the microphone in place here, this is episode 35 today, and I'm going to break protocol in this episode because there are too many important things to talk about. And uh, if you're watching this series, if you're watching this show, it's because you want to learn tools to heal because we're not given tools to heal at all, uh, if you've noticed. So I just wanna talk about both sides today because it's completely relevant because what I'm living right now is, is hor horrifying at best. I was literally thinking of taking a camera and filming what it's like for me, you know, going to the bathroom, going to the sink, you know, uh, having it lay out on the sink or inside the sink and have it bleed and bleed and clean and bleed and wait and bleed. Um, I really wanted to show it with pictures, but I decided not to because it's not necessary. And uh, just by talking like I just did, it's pretty visual. So instead what, what i wanted to do was just let people know what's going on and why i'm still bleeding and uh what's the what's the true cause of it well what, what i did in one episode was i finished it with two slides and one slide said how um, i was born with a soul that's too sensitive for this world and the other one talks about love and fear we're born in a world of fear but we're made of love. We're, we're supposed to be love ourselves. So there's this push me, pull you all the time. And um, I'm trying to heal from cancers, literally that society caused because of the, the food we eat, because of the people we deal with, because of, you know, the drill, because of the air we're breathing. Well, maybe you don't know the drill and maybe this is another reason why you're here, which is even better because we can be uh, well-informed very quickly about what's going on. So I'm trying to heal in a world of fear. Okay, let's say I'm love and I'm living in, in a world of fear. They're teaching you how to be fearful. They're teaching you how to fear authority. They're teaching you how to fear when you don't feel good and you have to run to, to the medical establishment. No, not me. Okay, so I, what I really wanted to do today was talk very, very quickly about the basic differences between the two of them, because they're, they're, really, they're really amazing. Let me go through, I don't know if it was the first or the second uh, slide that, that I showed, but I want to talk about love first, because we, we got to start this on, on, on a good note. Okay, the meme says, love is what we were born with. Fear is what we have learned here. The spiritual journey is the unlearning of fear and the acceptance of love back into our hearts. It sounds pretty cliche. Yeah, it's pretty general, but read it again. That's what I said. I read it the second time and I went, oh, wow. Um, that's what we're supposed to do. Um, fear is what we have learned here. That's, that's a big phrase, okay? We've learned to be fearful from, from people because we've given our hearts and they've been broken. Uh, we're learning to be fearful of authorities because we know the authorities serve the state and we know who the state serves. So it, it all depends on really two different types of people, those who care and those who don't. And that's basically what the world is made of. And the good people are going to break the laws, the bad laws that the bad people are making. Um, anyway, this is the big push me pull you today, and I think that's going to be the name of the show, this, the, uh, the name of the, of, of the episode. Push me, I like that. Pull you. 
And no, this is not Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> um, the second slide, uh, which is <laughs> really like, you know, something that hits home big time. Uh, I was born with a soul that is way too sensitive for this cold, ugly world. I have always felt things deeply and differently than most people. That has always been my blessing and my curse. Okay, so you can see the difference between those two and how they're similar at the same time. And I also shared something very interesting by uh, Chief Oren Lyons, Onondaga, Six Nations. He says, you've been trying to instruct Indians to be capitalists ever since you got here, but we don't value what you value. Okay, so now you can take the word capitalism and the word matriarchy and they're polar opposites, just like love and fear are polar opposites. Matriarchy represents love. Capitalism represents fear, authority, uh, patriarchy, whatever. You, it's the polar opposite. So this is why we're, we're always saying we're living in a spiritual battle. Okay, so I'm trying to heal from two cancers, and uh, I have a severely enlarged prostate, which is literally folding over the bladder. And I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but that's what we have to do. We have to repeat ourselves because it's important that everybody, you know, understands. And there might be people that have been watching, you know, this for, you know, maybe there are people that had followed the 35 episodes, but, you know, maybe there's one person that's just climbing on board now and wants to know what the hell am I talking about, right? So this is, this is who we are addressing, the push me pull you of today's society and how to live in it, not among it. You know that biblical verse that says that, you know, you are, you are in this world, but you don't have to be a part of it. Well, that's been said by hundreds of other cultures in hundreds of different ways. So it all comes back to the heart. Okay, so I'm, I'm sitting here trying to be a better person, trying to learn as much as I can uh, about, you know, what I can, about what resonates in my world. And that's going on Twitter, going on Facebook, going on Instagram and sharing truth about what's going on in the political world, which is supposed to not have anything to do with the series, but <laughs> they're so intricately connected. It's, it's pathetic. Um, and my body's reacting to that. That's what's happening. My body's literally reacting to the stress that I feel when I'm going through uh, reading the news, uh, finding out what's going on, uh, who are the billionaires that, that, that are ruining the world, on and on and on and on. So uh, it depends. You know, people say balance. Yeah, right. It, it's not even a matter of balance anymore because it's hard to explain. As soon as the body, it, it, as soon as the mind starts getting into news and journalism, which is what I am, that's what I do. You can feel the body starting to react to it um, within minutes now. It's the same thing as somebody who started meditating years ago, who can meditate just like that. And somebody who just started it recently, who it, it takes 15, 20 minutes to, you know, be able to start the meditation. So I'm to the point now where I'm I'm severely, you know, overcrowded with, with news and with information that I know. And what the Indian says, you know, the Native Americans, they say that if you know something and you don't say anything about it and you watch the world that needs what you have to say, you're no better than the bad stuff that you're talking about. So it's a responsibility now that we have the knowledge that a true journalist is supposed to, um, you know, react to. And uh, Assange always says that, you know, good journalists are either in jail or dead. Other, anything else is just public relations. And it's true. So this eats you up inside. Well, uh, so what do you do? There's the quandary. This is what's happening. This is where I'm at. Uh, 
two huge blood clots came out this morning. And I mean, uh, you know how giving birth, the, uh, the woman's uterus has to stretch, right? Well, the, the urethra has to stretch to get this stuff out. And it's like, you know, I was sitting down to pee and I thought it was literally going to come out of, uh, of the ring where I was sitting on because of the pressure going through. Scared the living beep out of me, right? So uh, this is the type of refuse that has to come out. And wouldn't that be funny if you could correlate the word cancer that I'm going through with the cancers of society that are killing the people and that are killing the ecosystems and that are killing the planet? Anybody awake um, in the least knows what's going on. And for the sensitive people, like Oren Lyons, for the sensitive people like me, hence that meme I just read you, uh, it's a challenge. So I'm sitting here with no notes whatsoever today. Uh, I have no notes in front of me except for that push me, pull you that I just wrote that's, that's going to be the, uh, the title of, of the show today. And here comes the lawnmower. I hope you can't hear that. But I'm, I'm sitting there trying to uh, let people know what's going on because I, I'm going to be talking to you every week and giving you an update on my healing every week. So it, you know, this is stuff that has to be said and it has to be shared because I'm living it and it's illegal not to share uh, what means something to you. And this is like, it's so personal. I mean, it couldn't get more personal. It really couldn't. I'm really sharing uh, the most intimate times of my healing with you all and it's a good thing to do because it's going to be helping big time as we move along 